Hello, my name is Carol. I will be going up to my sewing room in a minute because I want to talk to you about um, a very strange simplicity pattern I made this week. I had great success with the Biani flipping out pattern and also I had to do a bit of comfort sewing after that. I thought I'd start in the garden. It's a beautiful clear blue sky day. It is absolutely freezing but I had to show you that my camellias are out I almost can't believe we've got a little bit of gorgeous colour and it's January. So I will go up to my sewing room, <laughs> sorry Mickey just sneezed, I will go up to my sewing room now and uh, we'll get on with hashtag Friday Sews. In my sewing room now and welcome to hashtag Friday Sews. Now Friday Sews is where this lovely sewing community of ours comes together on a weekend. We tend to put our videos out on a Friday or a Saturday and we just tell you what we've been doing in our sewing rooms. It's just a general chat, sewing chat, saying what we want to make, what we have been making or sometimes what we've been buying. But please check out all the other Hashtag Friday Sews vloggers and especially those new ones. Now I am wearing today a pattern that I was actually moaning about the other day that how many times I'd made it. It's Simplicity 8529 but I made the kind of, it's like an easy roll neck version. It's a very strange pattern in which you get kind of a funnel um, and you kind of fold one back on each other. So it creates quite an easy sort of polo neck. So you have, it's like a big tube and you fold it down and it's, it's really good, but it does create a nice kind of um, turtleneck look. So it is so cold today, I thought I would wear this. It's in this like cable knit uh, fabric, which is cable knit jersey, it's lovely. Anyway, so it's Simplicity 8529. Now, as I said in my intro, I did make a very strange pattern this week. And um, here it is. It's it's very odd. Um, yeah, uh, what can I say about this? Uh, I made it. Um, I put some, it's a little basket and I put some wool in there to give it a bit more structure. I made it fine, but I would definitely change some of the things I did. This is a pattern I picked up um, I, maybe last year, I think. Simplicity 9623. And I made the smallest one because I really didn't know what I was doing. Now, my idea in my head was it'd be a great way of using up lots and lots of scraps, which I talked about a couple of weeks ago. But when I read the pack on the back, on the instructions on the back, it said it required a jelly roll. Now I got so excited because I have never bought a jelly roll or even kind of knew what it was for. Because I'm not a quilter, that's not the sort of thing I've ever bought before. So I thought this is a great excuse to try and make it up and use one. So I ordered one and then used it to, well, less than half of it to make this up. Where I went wrong. Where I went wrong was I didn't use a stiff, I used a firm interfacing on these pieces, but it should have been extra firm and I think that would have given it a bit more structure. I used a uh, foam like they said for the handles, but that's too much, that's too much weight on this, these pieces here. I only had a few issues with it where you had to kind of, you had the base and then you had to sew all these pieces and crisscross into the base. A lot of it was done the, a strange way round to me. When you were putting on these strips, you kind of had to sew them in strips together along the seam and then you interfaced it. Now that was weird because even when it was sort of put on here, you had to then interface it, which was a really difficult way of doing. Also, it gave you all the pieces um, to cut out and it said, cut to a fabric, cut to of interfacing. And then it told you in the pattern to trim down the seam allowance on the interfacing, which meant I wasted so much interfacing. So I was a bit cross about that. Perhaps I should have looked first and, and cut the interfacing smaller. I don't know. I mean, it was a great experiment. Um, it, I can definitely use some scraps to make another. I think because this particular version had all these gaps and holes, whereas some of the other views didn't have that, 
and much more tighter weaved I think that would be sturdier um, I certainly probably now would go for try and make something like that a bag but it's tighter weaved I think it'll be sturdier my husband did say it's lovely but what are you going to do with it and he's quite right um, but it was a fun little experiment now a great thing I finished this week that I'm so pleased with myself is um, I did finish the flipping out by Annie Patton which I really didn't think I will be able to do I when I come across something new and different I tend to panic and think I can't do it but actually when I calm down and uh, realize um, I'm okay I can sew so I should be able to do it I was fine and I'm really pleased with it I had my bumper lot of fold over elastic come from Amazon, thank goodness. Thank you all for your suggestions about where to get it. I would definitely go elsewhere next time, but for an emergency, this, this works fine, but I only used a tiny bit of it. So here it is. I am super, super pleased with it. So the idea is, is it stands up on its own and it does. Um, and then you fold it over and then you can put um, different things in it. I'm gonna put uh, makeup brushes and makeup. Uh, so this was the bit I needed the fold over elastic for. That's all I needed. But it's got sort of three mesh pockets. It's got this mesh pocket on the front. Um, this is the smallest version. You see you can make uh, one tall enough for uh, knitting needles. So, but this is the small one. But I used the right kind of bag making phone so it's made it nice and stable. Um, quilted the bit on the back, quilted the inside, I left the outside smooth because they said you could do that. So I'm, um, I'm really happy with it. In my last week's Friday Sews I talked about that I had reached um, the amazing figure of 4,000 subscribers which I'm really really pleased about. I'm pleased because I know that my channel is still growing and I'm hopefully producing things that people tend to like. Um, although what I'm actually doing is just sewing for myself and having the chance to share it with everybody, which is what I've always dreamed of really. Now I'm going to do a quick break here and I'm going to do the prize draw, which was a £20 Minerva.com voucher, which I will email to the recipient. So in this bowl are over 200 names. I had an amazing amount of comments and response. Um, this is my husband, Chris. Hi there. Um, so I would like him to do the draw. So he's not gonna look and I've done it old school on bits of paper. So I'm just gonna get him to pull a name out for you now. So give it a good shuffle around. I've got one. You have. And the winner is, if he can read my writing, Anne F. Hallahan 4347. I will put the name down below in the video. Um, but yeah, congratulations, you have won a £20 Minerva voucher, which I will get uh, sorted out and emailed to you. So thank you very much. Well done, Anne. Congratulations. Behind me is my bit of comfort sewing. Now this was a piece of lovely soft ponte, jersey ponte that I got I think about a year ago. Um, I, think I, I think I got it from my, my fabrics in Germany. So lovely bit of ponte. Because it's been so cold here I fancied another kind of cosy top and this certainly has got a nice kind of roll neck top. I use Simplicity 9385. Now I've used this with success but some people do have issues with it. It's not a fantastic pattern, but it, it kind of does work for me. Um, I did the front version without the band here, this version here actually, with the not the gathered sleeve heads. I'm not a massive fan of that. I like the smoother look. Now, uh, Tiffany from Hoosier Handmade has um, highlighted in the past, and it's great that she did it because these versions are actually cropped, although you wouldn't believe that from the photo. So I definitely went for that version. The It doesn't sit completely on my shoulders, I will admit. It hangs off slightly, but when I looked at the image there, it does on her too. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. And it is it is kind of a baggy. It's not kind of a skin tight or anything. I'm really pleased with it because uh, wearing it with something like black, um, black pair of jeans We'll just will give it a bit smarter look so yeah it's got the cuffs on there but i was really pleased with it and that was my bit of comfort sewing 
along with a couple of other things that I needed to sew up using some jersey scraps. Now I am um, as you all know, I make uh, my own underwear, my own um, acacia knickers. I use that pattern and I'm not gonna hold them up for you because I never like doing that. But I made three pairs. Um, I've made over, well over 30 now because that's all I kind of wear now. But I just want to tell you, when I first started, for anyone starting or thinking about making them, when I first started doing them, the first ones I did, I used straight stitch, um, normal cotton straight stitch, that was terrible because it popped all the time. I then went on to doing small zigzags, which I now still do. Um, I zag, zigzag all the elastic on, one side flip it over the other, same again. And I now use Mariflex thread, just to give me that a bit of security. I put the top lace on with three step zigzag. So everything now is completely zigzag stitch um, and that has worked perfectly. I always use Mariflex as I said, but I was shopping the other day, couldn't get hold of this, so I got some Mettler, which is meant to be similar, and it is elastic thread, but oh my goodness, it is nowhere as good as the Mariflex, the Gutterman stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can really tell the difference, but that, the stretch is the same, but that's quite the solid, whereas this is so much thinner and it kept snapping in my machine. It came up bunching up and snapping. So I, sorry Mettler, but I was really not impressed with this at all. Um, so I need to go and get myself some more of that stuff. So just a little bit of a recommendation. Some people may have had success with this, but I know my machine, it just kept snapping and I've never had anything like that before, certainly with this stuff. The fabric wheel made a reappearance this week and the theme that's going to be for this time is using all my thick sort of sweatshirting jersey fabrics or French terries that I really want to sew up before spring. So um, I'll put a card to that video up there if you didn't see it. But what it landed on this time was this beautiful um, sweatshirting fabric, oh, sorry, French terry, and um, got quite a bit of it. Now, in the video, I wasn't sure what this was, but I'm told now it's a Genko leaf, which was amazing. So I looked that up and wow, what a fascinating um, tree it is and plant it is. So I was really pleased with that. So that's gonna be my mission for next week is to make something using this. So thank you for anyone that watched um, my video and gave such lovely comments. I know I keep saying it, but our sewing community is the best. This online YouTube community, we're spread across the world. We're all different types of people. Um, we all seem to make different things and talk about different things, but it's such a great community. If we need help, we can ask for it. I actually had to do that <laughs> this week. Um, I had an issue with my Juki machine and rather than ring up the shop and look a bit like an idiot, I thought I'd reach out to one of our wonderful YouTubers. And actually it's the one that just lives down the road from me, Adam, Adam Sows. Um, I'll go to my machine and I'll show you what my issue was. So uh, this is my lovely new Juki machine and welcome to the corner of my room, which is uh, the business corner where it all happens. Um, Okay, so I obviously got this a couple of weeks ago, got it for Christmas, started using it a couple of weeks ago, and there was something that I really wasn't sure about or happy about. Um, so I, rather than ring the shop, I thought I would contact Adam. Now, I'll show you what I mean. So I would start to sew, here we are, sewing a nice straight line, and then I would stop, and I put, um, put the auto cut up, pull it out. I then want to start sewing again and I'd be trying to get the lever down to put the foot down and I thought oh, I, the only way I could get it to work was to lift up and then down and then I could get it down and then I start sewing. And that was so much hassle. I thought this can't be right. This is a good machine. What am I doing wrong? So I contacted Adam and initially he was a bit unsure um, about what I was on about. And then he talked about um, a button. He said, well, about your press foot button. Is it sort of stuck down or something? I thought, oh, what's this button here? It's the press foot. It's the press foot. I had no idea that that 
was where it was meant to be. So when I start, I shouldn't be going this. As Adam said to me, that's a manual override. You should just be pressing that button and then off you can go. This is why I am I'm so thick sometimes, honestly. Bless Adam, he's so lovely. Um, he just thought it was very funny. I thought it was very funny. But yeah, so all this time I've been going up and down to start my machine. Thank you, Adam. So plans for next week. Uh, Chris is actually away next week. Um, he goes on Saturdays away for the whole week. So I have lots of sewing time to myself. So I really want to get a few things done that have been outstanding. Also, I've got a really exciting collab coming up at the end of January. Um, and I am waiting for my fabrics. I've been waiting for my fabrics for quite a while now. So the minute that comes in, I need to be uh, start sewing up. Next week, I'm going to put out a video about this um, new little craft I've suddenly got into. Now, it might be something that has been around for ages and ages, but um, I just came across it by chance. I'm not going to give you much more details. I'm going to do what a lot of people do and keep you waiting. Um, it's just a fun little craft that I can do when I'm not near my sewing machine or I'm away on holiday. I've got most of the bits here, but um, I'm still waiting for some bits and practice a bit before I can sort of put out a video. But yeah, that's just going to be a little light-hearted uh, video next week of something. This is typical me. I spot something and I want to have a go at it and I started last night and I absolutely love it. So I'll put that video out next week. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot thank you enough for all the lovely comments I received to my Friday Sews video last week. I had the highest number of comments I've ever had, over 200. It was outstanding. It was amazing to hear from so many of you. Congratulations again to the winner of the prize draw. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna leave you with some photos of our week that we've had down here. Last week, and Fabulous Sews, I moaned about all the rain that the UK had had. This week, it's been beautifully sunny, but very cold. But it has meant that we managed to, a couple of times, I've escaped down to the beach. Um, the beach is only about 25 minutes away from us. So we did go down and took some lovely pictures down there and we took the boys down. And it's just been marvellous just to go very bundled up, lots and lots of coats, but get some lovely sea air. So I will put a couple of those photos up. Also, I'm going to sneak a photo up of a lovely photo I managed to grab of Mickey the other day, Mickey my dog in the forest. Now Mickey is he's an old boy now and I really want this picture frame because I, I love it so much. It just, it just happened at the right time, this photo. So I'm gonna put that up at the end because I want to get that framed. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you coming back again and again and spending time with me because I know we all have busy lives. And I just want a huge shout out to the wonderful sewing community that we have online. And I hope it always remains that way. Thanks for watching and I will see you shortly. Goodbye for now. Thank you.